All right, folks, what is going on? This is episode 674 of the First and Frame Rate Show. I am BF Baller. Over here, we talk about Georgia Southern and Atlanta Falcons football. And, uh, yeah, Georgia Southern is hosting the Coastal Carolina Chanticleers this upcoming Saturday. Uh, NFL Network will be in Statesboro for the game. And for all intents and purposes, Allen E. Paulson Stadium is sold out. Um, as of right now of this recording, to be honest, what you see on the screen right here, it does say 65 uh, seats remaining. I've heard word that is now down to 44. And it is Thursday, um, September 28th. And uh, yeah, um, by Saturday, those 44 seats are going to be uh, sold. i be honest with you, they'll probably be sold before the end of the show. It may be sold before the end of the night. So uh yeah that's what we're dealing with and uh this is going to be an amazing game for georgia southern one of the best ones in a long time i'm actually starting to get the uh you know the appalachian state game from last year type of vibes um that was a really big game and um but i think it's gonna be like that like times 10 because when you get a uh when you get alan e paulson stadium to sell out it's nothing like it. I remember I was at a couple of sellout games back in, I mean, this was way before they did all the expansions. This had to be like 2006 or something or 2007. I can't remember. But um, it, it was just electric. I, and a matter of fact, they were playing the Chanticleers in that game. I do remember that. Um, It, it was just an awesome event. So this is going to be really cool. Um, And uh, I can't wait to see how this happens, you know, how this plays out. So um, if this is your first time here, welcome. I could be found on YouTube and Rumble. I'm also on Anchor, Spotify, Apple, and Google Podcasts. Hopefully you guys have checked out the show before. If this is not your first, if not, if this is your first time here, please consider um, liking the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, I am on Rumble, so you can uh, follow me over there. And um, the podcast avenues, Anchor, Spotify, Apple, Google Podcasts. You know, um, you could be on um, Program Director and subscribe to any of those avenues uh also uh, i am on uh twitter or x at vf baller and the website is first and frame race.com excuse me all right let, let's get into it like i said uh as of this start to re- this recording i it, i think it got down to like 44 seats so th- this is this is a sellout basically because th- those seats are going to be sold between this tonight thursday uh, evening to saturday um afternoon i think no saturday evening is the game's at seven so it's going to be, um, it's definitely going to be sold out. And uh, this is going to be a really big deal because Georgia Southern always have, already have a lot of firepower. I mean, they're, they're, we already know what type of team we're dealing with. We saw what they did when they played against the Citadel. Um, we also saw what they did when they played against UAB. You saw what they did last year. I mean, they put up points. They put up numbers. I mean, like even right now, and this game, this is really not supposed to be a stat type of, of episode. But right now, we're number five in the nation in yards passing, number seven in the nation in yards passing. I'm sorry, number five in the nation in passing per yards per game. And we're number seven in the nation in passing yards. You got um, both our receivers, um, Derwin Burgess and Caleb Hood. Derwin is one, number one in the Sun Belt in receptions. Caleb is number two in receptions. Derwin Burgess is number one in receiving yards per game which at 7.3. And Caleb Hood is number two at 6.8. Quadri Jackson is number one in the Sun Belt and forced fumbles. So we, we, you're getting it from both sides of the ball. And um, I really would like to see us do something nice on special teams every now and then. But our team is so good right now, it's very hard to ask all three phases to be that perfect, you know, or that on point. To be in the top three or top five, top ten in those stats. It, it, it's very hard to, to get everybody on board. You're going to be lacking somewhere because no team is on point like that. But nevertheless, I think the Clear is going to have the, their hands full. I haven't seen much talk to, about them or talk from them throughout our social media like he used to. I think, you know, for the most part, Coastal Carolina kind of are a little bit humbled from based on the last few years. Um, they were highly successful. I mean, love to see what they've done with the program, you know, beating Kansas. Uh, I think they beat a couple of other teams. Um, really put themselves on the map as one of the top teams with, you know, guys like um, Grayson McCall, and uh, I can't remember the, the linebacker they had. I mean, I mean, they just had some really uh, Gallagher. I think his name is Teddy Gallagher. I mean, some amazing players that came through there that made a difference for their program. 
and it was at the time that we was kind of like in a down, uh, downward uh, time of our program, you know, post 2014 or 2016, you, we really haven't been the, the team that we needed to be, you know? So, I mean, it took us nearly three years to get something going. Uh, no, I'll take that back. We did have a pretty good 2018 season. I will take that back. So, it, I mean, from 2018 to now, yeah, you could say three years to get back to where we were, and the team is completely revamped. I don't think not many teams really want to deal with Georgia Southern right now. Uh, and, I mean, even, you know, think the stars that we kind of wet the bed at the quarterback position against Wisconsin, and we would have been undefeated. I, I, I firmly believe that. I mean, we, we throw five interceptions and, and lose a fumble, and we still end up losing by, what, 21 points. I mean, yeah, it sounds crazy, but um, if we don't turn the ball over half those times, it could have been a totally different game, especially if we go in there and score on those drives. But nevertheless, can't talk about that no more. There's no reason to. And you look at what we have here. Uh, this is going to be an amazing game. I wish I was there. I, was, I'm not go- I wasn't going to be able to go. Not really in the position to travel like I want to. So many things are going on. Not necessarily personal or whatever, but you want to get things together for the for the Christmas season, so we're starting very early. So um, with that being said, I wanted to be a huge Christmas, our first time back here in the Atlanta area. So it's kind of like falling back and not doing too much, but I will be here watching the game. I will be here. It's on NFL Network. It's going to be an amazing time. I cannot wait to watch this and um, really just uh, get my thoughts and opinions because – this is this is the effect of what Coach Clay Helton has done. I mean, you got to understand when you are changing a program around, you know, basically flipping this, flipping the entire football team from what it used to be. You see, he walked in here and saw what the spread option was. You saw what we had, you know, with certain players and and, and what players could hang on and what players decide to leave and what players that that just couldn't fit. And you turn it around into. Um, uh, ba- basically a positive season all things considering last year uh winning uh doubling your win total beating Appalachian State beating the top 25 team just coming up short in your bowl game but based on the big turnaround it was somewhat of a success now you see what's going on now we're already at three wins and, and in my opinion I think we're projected to win maybe nine games you know so it, it is really a testament to what's going on here and I think this not just the students but the fans are starting to see this, and you see it in the the sold out, you know, stadium that we're about to have. I mean, this, this Paulson is about to be absolutely rocking. If you've never been to the prettiest little stadium in the country, Allen A. Paulson Stadium, you're missing out on something very special. It is something about filling up this stadium with twenty five thousand plus, hearing everybody rocking and roaring, and getting this team in gear to do phenomenal things on the field. It, it it just happens that way. I mean, it's not the biggest stadium. Like I said, it's the prettiest little stadium. It's not like the most um, acoustic stadium because, you know, it's not like a bowl or anything. But when those kids, when those fans get rocking and things get going, it is something amazing. Like I said, I, I experienced it at least three or four times since I've been um, a, a Georgia Southern Eagle fan. You know, and I mean, this goes back to the championship years. I've been to a couple games. Uh, I think the last one that I know that been completely packed was the 06 game when they did play against the Chanticleers. And uh, it was, I mean, it was amazing. I mean, I mean, even back then, all the seats wasn't there. I mean, most people were still on the grass. I mean, but you can tell there was something special going on in that game. And uh, I loved every bit of it. I think it was one of the, one of the defining moments of me, you know, as a sports fan, going to a game like that and seeing those the, those uh, guys play their heart out and the fans behind them 100%. And uh, you're, you're going to see this on Saturday. So I highly recommend to watch this game. It's going to be on the NFL Network. So not only is it a sold-out crowd, it's going to be nationally televised. So Georgia Southern would definitely be on the map. I can't remember the last time Georgia Southern was really, like, nationally televised like this. You know, I just can't remember. Uh, I just don't know. I mean, maybe somebody in the, in the in the comment section or somebody on Twitter or X can tell me. But um, yeah, on this screen right here, you see sixty five seats remaining. I heard word that it is down to forty four. And before we get out of here, I want to see what they if they changed it or anything. I don't see anything changed as of right now. So as far as I'm concerned, they said it was forty four left. 
and I'm going to go with that. And uh, that's that's pretty much it, man. Forty four seats in two and uh, a day and a half or uh, two days is definitely going to uh, they're going to sell those. There's, there's no doubt in my mind. So cannot wait to see this happen. Hopefully, you guys will be here to uh, to watch or watch on NFL Network, and hopefully you guys will come back here to get my thoughts and opinions on all of this, because this is going to be absolutely awesome. And it just can't get no better than that. So if you like this commentary, the like button, share this podcast, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me know what you guys think. Have you been to a, a, a game where Georgia Southern has been completely sold out? Do you want to know more about it? I mean, if you do, I highly recommend you go watch the game this Saturday. Um, like I said, for me, I think this is a huge advantage for Georgia Southern. Even when the stadium is not packed, the power of Paulson is still felt. And a lot of teams have a lot of issues playing against us. Um, even when BYU came, BYU was struggling with us for at least a two and a half quarters. And man, we just needed a quarterback. You know, we had a, 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 sl- a, a solid quarterback. It could have been a really good game. But nevertheless, um, this game here is going to show you what Georgia Southern is all about. I highly recommend you watch it and check it out. And uh, I want to get up out of here. All right, y'all. I will see y'all then on the next episode. And I'll definitely be see y'all when this game is uh, over and I give my thoughts and opinions. All right, y'all. Y'all take it easy and uh, y'all be blessed. Peace. Thank you.